stay. We have our, our wonderful, uh, deserving IHM uh, Euro Wine Tour uh, students about to arrive. So last year, we had a really great experience in the Rhone Valley in France. Quite a diversity of wines from the famous Condru white wine, which is in the northern part of Rhone. Um, in the northern part of Rhone as well, we also visited uh, Cote Roti, a famous wine uh, growing region where they focus on uh, Syrah. And we were also in the southern part of Rhone, which is actually quite different from the north. We try to give a, a, a diversity in the different regions so they can see the different styles of wine and how the different weathers and different terroir. And in southern Rome is home to probably the most famous wine region there which is Chateau de Pap. Uh, not only were we able to visit a wonderful family owned uh, winery there, they were also kind enough to let our students get in the field and uh, pick the grapes and uh, put them in the baskets and uh, dump them into the containers and they ended up going into the winery to be made. So they got to see the wines, or the grapes that they picked going into the winery and then what was happening to them after they picked the grapes were being uh, crushed and, and then put in for fermentation. Uh, it was actually the last day of harvest for this particular winery. So it was really a, a, quite a treat to be able to experience that. We also had some experience with biodynamic wines which I think is important, which is a more uh, natural, true way to deal with wine, no chemicals, no pesticides. We'll be basing ourselves in Verona and we're going to visit uh, famous regions of Suave, which is a famous white wine region. We're going to go to the Prosecco area and see how Italy's most famous sparkling wine is produced. But on the way we're going to stop in the very food famous city of Parma. And if you've heard Parma, you may have heard it associated with Parmesan cheese, uh, Parma ham, and it is also home to one of the world's most famous balsamic vinegar. So we're gonna, we're adding this little layer of food into the trip so the students can better understand not only the wines of Italy, but the food and the culture of Italy as well. Tuscany, we're going to visit uh, Brunello de Montalcino, which is an old historic site in Tuscany, 
famed for its uh, Sangiovese grape, 100% Sangiovese, and we're going to go visit Italy's most famous winery. We're going to visit Sasakaya, and Sasakaya, without a doubt, is the most famous winery in all of Sicily. And Sicily has a great uh, wine growing culture there as well, and they are most famed for their fortified wine of Marsala. So we're going to visit Di Bortoli, a quality producer of Marsala, visit them, see how that particular wine is made, and um, enjoy the, the food of Sicily. So we're very excited to be going there.